Tom in Hickory, North Carolina writes to me, more than a few times you have mentioned listening to our music with the lights turned down. Why do you say this? Is there some correlation with reduced ambient lighting and our ability to enjoy music? I understand why this is done in live music, but why home systems? Well, it is an enhancement of the illusion, plain and simple, right? And they're done for the same reason. So everything we listen to on our stereo system is in fact an illusion. Think about it. You've got left and right channel speakers. You've got a center image that is fake. We call it the phantom center image because it is a product of the left and the right speaker playing at the same level. We hear it in the middle, right? And a lot of this has to do with something called the Haas effect, which we can talk about later. But for now, the sound stage, the left and right balance, the idea of music appearing behind the loudspeakers, the idea of the speakers disappearing, <clears throat> all of that is an illusion, right? It's a sonic illusion. And illusions work best sonically when you close your eyes, when the, it's dark. And part of the reason is, just think about it for a second. I see this all the time. People come to our listening lab or the listening lounge or they come up here to Octave Records Studios and they're just amazed. And one of the things that they're amazed about is it sounds like music is not actually coming out of the speakers and it's hard for people to wrap their heads around that. If they know intellectually the sound is coming from the speakers, which it is, why doesn't it sound like it's coming from the speaker? And there's a whole bunch of reasons we can go through electronics, the way the speakers are designed, the on-axis, -ax axis, off-axis, flat response of Aspen speakers, on and on setup, big deal setup. So, and you can achieve this with most systems. Um, and it has to do with setup, something I discuss in, in the books that I've written, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Again, it's all an illusion. So when you are sitting there looking at the objects that are making the sound, your brain has a disconnect. It's going, this doesn't make any sense. If you close your eyes or you turn the lights down low, that disconnect goes away and everything is enhanced. All of a sudden, that amazing sound field you're hearing you hear into it, your brain relaxes. It's not trying to sort out like, what the hell is going on? How, how is it I can see this? It should be doing this, but it's not, right? That disconnect goes away. Lowering the lights, closing your eyes, takes away that whole disconnect and the illusion is enhanced dramatically. And that's why, and that's why it's a good idea. When we record here at Octave Records, we oftentimes, for the musicians, we'll lower the lights here in the tracking room. We'll lower the lights down in the, uh, in the control room and in the tracking room. And they're able to have their brain shut down from all its visual cues that are trying to figure things out and just focus on the music. And it really does work. So, great question. Thanks for asking. Talk to you later. Thank you.